G'day and welcome to Grizzly and Bear Overland with Lee and Steffi. From Cape York, we made our way south rapidly. We are now in Brisbane. We camped in the city with our friends Ben and Daniel. In this episode, we would like to share with you the old British day. We've just driven into the driveway and I've already seen vehicles getting pushed. <laughs> they weren't Land Rovers though. The All British Show here in Brisbane has been hosted by St. Joseph's College on their lawn or their fields. So I was just thinking kids may come back to a few oil patches on this lawn, I reckon. <laughs> Oh, he's got a oh, hat on. so cool. Oh, I have to take photos of lots of MGs for Wayne. Morning. Morning. <laughs> How are you? Thank, Thank you. you. Round to your right. It costs $20 to enter and everyone can display their car. There's no booking or nothing like that. It's just you come in, you pay your $20 and you display your car. Oh, excellent. Yeah, well, it looks like it's going to be a good day and the it's weather's turned it really on. Day, huh? yeah. yeah, we're yeah. super excited about this one yeah. for sure. We arrived nice and early so we could check out all the beautiful vehicles rolling in. So many beautiful Land Rovers here today. Oh, the whole of New South Wales. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, it was a video support vehicle for the Camel Trophy. This Land Rover was Lee's favourite. The famous Series 1, Oxford, who travelled from London to Singapore in 1955, was at the show. A mini model of the Oxford <laughs> that he painted to look like it does now. Steffi is attracted by your car, so... That's the original set. This is Cambridge and okay. they don't even know where that is anymore. No, so I heard it's a car accident. I left it as it is, but I painted this one off. Incredible. <laughs> we were very happy to meet some of our patrons, like Eric and Mary. The old British day, it's a lot of Land Rovers, of course, but not only. My name is Anthony, this is my 1972 Ford Capri V6, Australian made. It's a blaze blue Mark 1 Capri, one of only one in this colour combination. I've had it for about 12 or so years. Thumbs up for the colour. I like it. We just came across another Overland vehicle. Not your typical Overland vehicle, an MG. This is an Austin from 1929. It's almost 100 years old. This vehicle was bought in 83. It was restored by the owners and it has been on the road since 87. It was a good turnout and we've met some awesome people. Bonjour. 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 This is so cool. And then when you said Travel Australia, he's like, you can't do that. Oh. It's like, yeah, but, you know, so he's like, Steffi yeah. and Lee, and it's he's, like, yeah, but that's them. Thank you, Jason and Alicia, for the gift. How sweet. So good to be here. We got really spoiled. Thank you, Evelyn and Wyndham, oh, for the South so African much. delicacies. <laughs> How do you like the chairs? Lovely. 90, love the 90. Lee's parents, Jill and Viv, came to the show. We even had some little visitors inside our camper. It's so impressive how much room there is in here and how homely it is as well. It's it's just brilliant. We've got the crew here from British Mafia, Steffi. Yes. Whoa, represent! Yeah. Off <laughs> the road. Yeah, I love it. It's, it's awesome. I'm Bodie. I'm the founder and creator of British Mafia. The car behind me is what I took here. It's pretty fun. It's a 1950 model, Series 1. It's pretty funky. It's got a bunch of mixed match stuff. It's got a um, a ZF Auto gearbox from a disco and then it's got a Holden Tirana engine. I drove it down from a mate's place up in North Brizzy. Uh, it was 
it was fun to drive. Like we took it on the highway, and I was sitting at about a hundred. Does it come with a half top? Yeah. No, one? so it's fully open. It, it's meant to look like a Series One lightweight. They weren't actually created. It's basically a home job Series One lightweight. So yeah, that's fully open. No seat belts, no doors. So you should so be wearing a helmet. I should. I should have goggles on too, technically, but. Uh, <laughs> I like to live on the edge. This is for sale. This is for sale. I'm thinking sale. about it. Yeah. <laughs> 165,000 cheap. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. I can see myself driving around Australia there. Look at this. Yeah, hi everyone, I'm James Pauley, the owner of Traction EV. We're an electric vehicle conversion business located in Morayfield, Caboolture in Queensland, Australia. This is our 1974 Series 3 Land Rover that belongs to a customer of ours. Yeah, it's all electric. This one is running a net gain Hypernine motor, which is it's about 170 horsepower, quite a bit more power than the original engine had. It's still running the four-speed manual box with high low range four-wheel drive. Has electric power steering, power brakes. It's 50 kilos lighter than the original Land Rover. The weight balance is exactly the same. We put it on corner scales before and after the conversion. Ben, the owner, daily drives it. It's got about 150 kilometers range. That's all he needed. This thing cruises at 110 on the highway, no problem. There's way more top speed to go. The gearbox is quite loud in these old things. You do get a lot of gearbox whine. We have options for replacing the entire driveline with a single drive unit which mounts in place of the gearbox and then that drives out to the front and rear diff. That's much quieter. And then it's just single gear and it's full-time all-wheel drive and a lot more horsepower. So you go from like 170 horsepower, you jump up to 300 horsepower. And you can go more, like you can go up to 600 horsepower if you want to. I've got a GPS speedo and everything, so it, it doesn't matter what tire size or gearing I'm running, it's always accurate. Hey guys, I'm John. I'm Outdoor Explorer on Instagram. And this is my 99 uh, Defender 110. It's got GU Patrol, diffs front and rear, triple bypass shocks in the back. 14 inch coilovers in the front. I'd have to say it's probably one of the most modified defenders in Australia. I drive it like I stole it. Everywhere, well not everywhere, but off-road, it's good fun. A big thank you to everybody that participated today. This one is the best. A blue Leyland mate, Brad Bowl is the owner. Uh, 1978, California mate, yeah. Awesome, congrats! Thank you. It's a 1950 Ford Jaguar X. It's a 1920 Rolls Royce Silver Ghost. Silver Ghost was the car that gave Rolls Royce the name of the best car in the world. We've had a lot of fun in it. We've been all driven it around Australia, driven it all over New Zealand. Still enjoying driving. The next one we have is best off-road vehicle, a 1997 Land Rover 10-0. Is my right? I'm not taking it, but he's not here. Oops, sorry. Congratulations. <laughs> best off-road. You want to know what's funny? It hasn't been off-road in Australia. I've been coming to this show for 12 years, and today we win the best four-wheel drive-in show. It should have been Grizzly and Bear. Maybe nah. next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is nice, but I'm sorry to say this is nicer. People said Oxford should have won, but maybe, maybe next time for Oxford. Everybody likes Oxford, and everybody would give him first. See you, bro. And before we knew it, it was already the end of this amazing day. <laughs> See you, mate. See you, man. This was such an amazing show. We really loved it. All those vehicles were absolutely incredible to see. Like the love and the passion is. Albania, Greece, 
Turkey, Armenia, Georgia, Azerbaijan, Taiwan, Japan, South Korea, Russia, Mongolia, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Uzbekistan. Wow, this is so impressive. 